Carpenter from MoveTheWasteland.com. A lot of preppers were kind of had their eyebrows raised within the past month when a few weeks ago, the President's National Infrastructure Advisory Council released a report kind of seemingly out of nowhere about the fragility of the U.S. power grid and surviving a catastrophic power failure with a recommendation to uh, store six months worth of food and water and supplies, which kind of made everyone kind of take a step back, not because we think that's a terrible idea. In fact, I think that's a fantastic idea. Everyone should be doing it, and that's what we've all been recommending. In fact, most people suggest you do even more than that. I think six months, I always recommend six months is a good solid plan for most people, and then once you get to that point, you can evaluate it further. But regardless, the standard up to that point from the U.S. government has usually just been about two weeks for FEMA guidelines to survive things like small power outages, hurricanes, you know, just any sort of disruption. So it was really kind of made people think what all of a sudden made them think that now everyone needs six months supply of food and water, specifically related to a tap, maybe an attack on the grid or a cascading failure of the grid or something like that, which is something that I've said is the most kind of only realistic way for there to be a major widespread shit hit the fan event, other than maybe like a pandemic or an invasion or something like that, is for there to be a widespread grid down situation. So everyone is thinking, do, do they know something we don't? Do um, did they finally just realize what we've known all along? I kind of assumed the latter, and I still do, but it's very interesting to note that just a few minutes ago or hour ago or whatever, there was entire city of New York was bathed in pulsing blue light, and the explanation was a transformer explosion or some kind of massive power plant explosion. Very interesting. I haven't heard about anybody being out of power in any widespread area or something, and obviously a lot of conspiracy theories abound about what's really causing that. But you should check out the videos. On, they're on Twitter and probably some on Facebook and things like that. If you go to my Twitter account, the link will be in the description. I have, um, I'll link to some of the pictures. And if I get to a clip, I can, I can insert it into the video here so you guys can see. Oh my god. So it's actually supposed to be dark right now? Wait, what the f is going on? Pretty interesting looking stuff. A lot of pe different people have uh, posted about it, so it's not just one account or anything like that. So too soon, obviously, to tell what's going on, but I just thought that was extremely interesting that within mere weeks of this kind of uh, curious report that everyone was just like, hmm, okay, why now? Why this now? You know, then there's obviously so there's some kind of, at least the official story, is that some kind of massive power plant explosion or something like that. And these things do happen, obviously, but it's still just a little bit strange to me. But I don't think it's anything, obviously, to be too worried about. But it just gets you thinking. And as I was saying, we already know you need to have food and water and things like this, supplies. And even if this is just a standard explosion at a power plant, the, I, the fact that that kind of thing can happen is the exact reason why we have food and water and supplies and things like that. So keep your eyes open. Uh, if you guys know anything else that's going on with this, let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.